What's up guys, it's your boy, Barca Boy 103. Just finished watching the match, Athletic Club 2, Barcelona 3. Barcelona beat Athletic Club in the San Mames for the first time since 2017, and we actually scored a goal for the first time since 2017 as well. This game, it's very, I'm very, very mixed about it. The first 10, 15 minutes were just all over the place. After that, it was just scintillating football. Last five minutes kind of dripped off a bit as per usual, but great, great, great result. So, so important to get the three points and Barcelona did get the job done and just full credit to the team today. They played a great game. Some credit to Coleman, but we'll talk about what I don't think Coleman did in just a second. Sorry, lines on the screen right now. It was only one change from the Huesca match. It was Ter Stegen in goal, Des Araujo Longlet, Jordi Alba, Busquets, De Jong, Pedri, Messi, Griezmann, and Dembele. So just briefly coming out for Griezmann. And so the first goal came from Athletic Club, two minutes in. Lapse in concentration from Des and Dembele, and Naki Williams threw on goal. Such poor defending from Longlet. I tell you what, I was ripping into him in my live stream. Terrible defending, and Naki Williams scores, and it makes it 1-0 to Barcelona. Second goal comes in from Barcelona. I cannot express this world-class pass from Lionel Messi. Exactly like he did against Real Madrid. Exactly like he did against Huesca. This pass just threw the whole team of Athletic Bilbao. The ball's about to go out. Frankie De Jong keeps it in. He makes a darting run from midfield as well, just like Coleman tells him to do in his press conference. Straight to Pedri. Pedri heads it into the open net and makes it 1-1. Very, very lucky for that goal as well. Pedri kind of closed his eyes and trying to head it downwards. Very, very lucky that he, you know, got the goal. But that makes it 1-1. Next goal comes in from Barcelona as well. Beautiful interplay in the middle. Messi threw balls it to Pedri. Pedri back heals it while Pedri back heals it to Messi. The goalkeeper kind of falls a bit and slips. Messi hits it into the open net and it made it 2-1. Brilliant goal for Messi. Third goal comes in now also from Lionel Messi. He got the brace today. Brilliant again interplay between Jordi Alba and Griezmann. Griezmann in the box, sees that open space where Messi's supposed to run into, puts the ball in there onto him on the plate. Messi hits it bar down and makes it 3-1. And the final goal on the night came from Munain from Athletic Club. Bit of a loss of concentration from Messi. There was a free kick. Busquets took it. Messi tried to switch the play. Pass was poor. They hit us on the break and they scored. Beautiful finish from Munain though, I have to say. And those were the goals in the match. Now I have to say on the performance today, it was just scintillating football. From I think the 25th minute, to like the 75th minute, we were just dominating the play. It was just beautiful. I don't know what it is with Coleman. We went to Celta Vico's away game, which has always been difficult for us. We got the win. Sam MS has always been difficult for us. We got the win. Allianz Arena has always been difficult for us, and we got the win. Coleman in these big away games, are I don't know what's happening. He's just pulling out the bag. And then when we go against poor sides, we struggle. It's just ridiculous. He still has to go to Anoeta. He still has to go to Bernabeu. If he gets both those wins in those games, I think he had, he needs to get some credit for that because that's just brilliant from him. And overall, it was just a dominant performance from Barcelona. Let's get into the player ratings. We're going to talk with Ter Stegen and goal. I'll give Ter Stegen a solid 7. Did what he had to do. Weren't really any saves that I can really think of on the night. Passing out the back was fantastic. He, had, he was commanding the box very well with, you know, Araujo being a, bit, a little bit inexperienced still. Did brilliant today. 7 out of 10 for me. So Junio Des, I'll give him a very, very generous 6 out of 10. I think we're looking more at a 5.55-ish. But I'm going to give it to him because, you know, we got the win of the night. I'm still very happy about that. Des, he was a bit poor today. I don't I don't know what it is. He's just in that final third. He's not really concentrating, defending. He's a little bit, you know, lackluster. I think maybe this is time for him to get a little bit, you know, just to get benched for a little bit. Bring him in Guetta, give him a little bit of a break. I don't know if it's just because he's playing too much games. Because, you know, at Ajax, he didn't even play that many games as well. So Des, for me, is a 6 out of 10. And the center back was off with Araujo. I think Araujo was very, very solid on the night. I'll give him an 8. His passing out of the back wasn't really the greatest, but his defending on the night was fantastic. They made that last next tackle at the end of the game as well. He was brilliant. Next up is Longlet, and Longlet will be suspended for the game against Granada, so we could expect maybe Minguetta to come in or Umtiti. But Longlet on the night, I'll have to give him a 6. I would have given him a 5, but he actually, you know, picked up after his mistake for that first goal. Defending on that first goal was just inexcusable. It was it was terrible. I don't know what he was doing. He's like hopscotching it and trying to save it. It was ridiculous. I have to hold my hands up after that. He was very, very solid, so I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Jordi Alba in that left back, I think he was solid as well. Give him a 7, made those lot of dunning runs. Then not only pass it to Messi, gave it to Griezmann, gave it to Dembele. Defended very well, so I'll give him a very solid 7 out of 10. Boosters on the night, I'll probably give him more of a 6.56-ish. I think he did what he had to do. Had some poor play, had, you know, got the ball cut out to him quite a bit. I think he was needed to get subbed off, but I don't know why Coleman didn't bring him off. So boost gets, I'll give him probably a six, six and a half. Frankie Young in that midfield, I don't know what to say, man. This guy, I'm not going to give a man the match because I'm going to give it to Messi. I'll tell you guys that right now. But if I, if I had to give a man a match to anyone else but Messi, it'd be Frankie Young. Frankie Young on the night was just world class. 
he had this, you know, dip in form for this, like, you know, that month in November, beginning of December. Then we played against Real Sociedad. He was world class. Levante game at home was world class. Huesca was brilliant. He's just cranking up now. This is the Frankie you know we need to see. I think he's, I think he's solidifying that box to box midfielder role. I don't really don't want to see my CDM anymore because that, that box to box just suits him so so well. Superb on the night. The assist for Pedri's goal was again world class. If you go watch the highlights, just watch his run from the halfway line runs all the way to the keeper and brings in that beautiful cross for Pedri. And of course on the night he was superb. Passing, interplay, interceptions all over the place. Brilliant from him. I'm going to give him a very high 8.5 out of 10. Probably looking more at a 9. Let's give him like an 8.8. Somewhere around there. He, that's how signaling he was. He was superb on the night. Pedri on the other side of the field, I'll give him an 8. I think his connection with this connection with him and Messi is just... It's, it's real. I can confirm it is legit. It's not just paper talk anymore. It's confirmed. This messy Pedri connection is just on a different level. I think Pedri was very solid from around the 15th minute to like the 70th minute. Then he kind of dipped off a bit again like he did against Huesca. So I'll give him an 8 out of 10 because during that, you know, 15 minutes of the 7th minute, he was just scintillating. It was just brilliant to see him play. 8 out of 10 for me. Antoine Griezmann, I'll give Griezmann a 7 out of 10. I think his performance will go a little bit under the radar. I think he did well. I think he defended very well. Attacked when he had to attack. Of course, got the assist for the Messi goal. I think, of course, he could have finished his chances a bit more. I think he had that one where it kind of bounced and he hit a straight at the keeper. Should be finishing that. But other than that, I think he had a very solid performance. Of course, as an attacker, you need to be more attacking. But of course, he did the defensive job very, very well. Griezmann also put on the left wing tonight, which really isn't his position. So, so I think I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll give him a 7 out of 10. The belly on the right-hand side will get a very high 7 for me. Probably looking at 7.7. He just gives us that different flair on the right-hand side. I don't know what it is. I thought he could play both right wing and left wing pretty well, but I think, I don't know why, just on the right wing, he's just a different level. He was a beast. Shots, I think his passing is a bit suspect. His passing is just, whew, it looks like it looks like it's like my little brother passing out there. His passing needs a lot of work, but I think his driveness, his willing to take on players, the willing, his, his, he had like an energy today. He was yelling for the ball every single time, complaining to Lionel Messi when he doesn't pass to him. Dembele is, you know, looking really, really good. He had a brilliant game today as well. I think he just needed that goal. He was really, really looking for it as well. But a very high 7 for me for Dembele tonight. And the final player we're going to rate is, of course, Lionel Messi. Go, man of the match for me. World class. All over the pitch today. Got the brace. Made the goals. He was just all over the place today. Of course, he had that bad pass at the end that cost him the goal. But I don't care. He was brilliant tonight. It, I think that is his best performance of the season so far, by far, without a shadow of a doubt. He was just brilliant today. That center forward role, I predicted in my match preview, I said move Messi that center forward position, let him play, let him connect everything together. Superb on the night. We're just having like Lionel Messi back again. He was just brilliant on the night. 9 out of 10 for me. So the subs tonight were only Mingueza and Braithwaite, so I'll give them both an average 6 out of 10. Only came on for 15 minutes, didn't really do much. Finally, Ronald Coleman. I'm going to give Coleman a 7 out of 10 today. I think the only reason why I would knock him down points were for his substitutions, didn't use all five. Again, Coleman's being a little bit of a hypocrite, you know, saying in his press comments, I trust all the players, we need the squad, we can't play the same lineup every week, yet he makes two substitutions in a game and not use all five of his subs, so. I think Busquets could have been subbed up, I think he could have subbed off Griezmann, you could have subbed off a lot of players, Pedri for Ricky Puch, and he didn't do that. That's my only criticism for him on the night. The team played well, took our chances tonight, of, even though Messi hit the post twice, so I gotta give him credit where credit is due. He got the job done tonight. He just needs to start using his subs more often because we get, you know, these niggling injuries coming in. I think it's going to cost him, so he needs to start using a sub more. Other than that, Coleman, 7 out of 10 for me. Got the job done tonight. So that's my match review for Athletic Club versus Barcelona. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your play ratings and your thoughts on the match. And of course, hit that subscribe button. We got the job done today. Of course, MMS is one of our bogey grounds, and I'm very, very happy we got the win. On to the next one, Granada away on Saturday. It's going to be difficult as well. So see you guys next time on the channel. Take care, and Forza Barca. <laughs>